today we are starting here at the dollar section again and they have a few new things this time this was a plastic bunny cake tray which i thought was so cute it had a little bunny on top of it and these candles smelled so good one was a kiwi watermelon i think or a fresh watermelon i'm sorry and the other one was like a raspberry scent that one was a lot more scenty they have some mother's day stuff here early mother's day stuff and i loved these hand towels i thought these were so cute great for spring i can definitely tell that green is in mint green sage green all the greens are in and of course the pastels as well i wasn't sure what these were i think these were glass but they're little container holders. Um, I wasn't really into them, but th they could be kind of cute. Maybe you can put something into it or uh, make it kind of like artsy or get creative with it. But I wasn't really sure what it was for, to be completely honest. Um, these baskets were so cute, though. I was thinking about picking one up, but I do have a lot of these at home already, especially the white ones. They usually always have something like that out here. They had a cute couple Easter things as well towards the end that I really liked a lot. The rob Robin's eggs, of course, are in as well. I'm seeing those everywhere, so I'm excited that those are going to be in again this year. I like these gray bunnies. I have a lot of gray in my place, so I thought about picking one of those up as well. And those bird cages are back again, and I ugh, I don't know why I didn't pick one of those up. They had these little wooden eggs. They only had one left, but they had other things too for St. Patty's Day. And of course, I've seen these last time, but they still have a lot of these as well. These are little bunnies without the eyeballs. I don't know how I feel about those, but they're still kind of cute. They have a couple of options as well, like chicks and stuff like that. And some more bunnies. I love bunnies for Easter. I just absolutely love it. This is actually new. This is a wicker bunny. And I did not see that last time I was at the dollar section. So I thought that was pretty cute. And this sage green egg tray was so adorable. I should have picked one of those up. I know I say it for everything, but I really should have picked that up because that was so cute and I love the color. By the way, if you guys are wondering why I do voiceovers instead of just talk to you guys about this at Target, it's because they play music at my Target and I don't want my video to be flagged. But anyways, these dresses were so cute. I thought about getting this one maybe next time. And they have a strappy one too. I have a lot of strappy dresses already. So I'm, I'm probably going to skip this one this year. But that puffy sleeve look, I'm really into that. And I've been seeing that everywhere lately. And you will see in just a moment that there's some other puffy sleeve pieces like this, which I thought was cute. A lot of white. Um, I love white, but I love color like this. I thought this was so adorable. I love the orange. I think the orange is so darn cute, but I actually like the color app for this even more. This was adorable. I just love that color. I don't know what it is about this color, but I, I love it. Maybe it's because I have reddish hair, so it works for me so well. These are washable napkins for spring. I thought these were so adorable they're very coquette you know like i just i love it like very tea time like time for tea i don't know i just i love it and of course the bunny one is just adorable oh you guys i can't i just i can't like i wanted everything in here today <laughs> i really did this is a home section here and i love target style for home goods and their decorations they could be a little bit on the pricier side but i do like the way that everything looks in here so i could definitely go for all of this stuff right here i did not like the smell of this peach sorbet uh tree hut scrub it just kind of smelled like peach rings for me and i i did not like that it was not really a good smell for me Maybe it's because I just don't like the smell or taste of peach rings, but Tropical Glow is such a nice scent. I highly recommend that one. I have it in the shave oil at home and I love it. Absolutely love it. I love anything Tree Hut. Um, I wanted to pick up a body butter from them, so I bought the Coco Culotta one because I love the scent of that one as well. It's very summery, very spring and summery and uh the vanilla maybe next time but it's very light a very very light scent and i like to have 
more of a scent kind of body butter because I use that instead of perfume throughout the day. I'm so happy I finally found the NYX fat oils, lip oils, because I could not find those anywhere. Not even at our Ulta. It, I can't even find them at Ulta. So I'm surprised to find a few of them at Target. I love the darker shades, but that's just what I usually gravitate towards are the darker shades. So these are stunning. So stunning. I love those shades. And they also had the Moisture Whips here from NYX. I haven't really heard too much about these, uh, but I know that they're new. I don't know if you guys have ever tried those yet. Maybe let me know because I've thought about picking one up, but I'm not too sure. I don't know if they're full coverage or not. I'm so looking forward to trying this. This is a moisturizer and primer from NYX. And I think you could put it into the refrigerator as well to make it cooler. I've been dying to try this foundation from e.l.f. I heard a lot of good things about it, but they never have my shade, but that's okay. Maybe next time. I know I need to check Ulta too to see if they have it, but I've really want to try this foundation it just looks like it's so pretty on everybody's skin so we'll see i might love it might hate it i don't know i do like the elf hydro collection um i've never seen the makeup melting cleansing balms uh, they probably have had that for a while just maybe have missed it but i never have seen that and also the lip mask i don't know have you guys tried any of those just let me know I'm having second thoughts about trying this lipstick because everybody says that it's not like a full coverage. It's, it looks natural. I see a lot of TikToks about this lipstick and I'm not a full coverage lip girl, so I might have to give this one a try. Um, it just looks so nice and so natural. I think there's a Charlotte Tilbury dupe in there somewhere and you know, Charlotte Tilbury is so expensive, so I love a good dupe. I really need to hear from somebody if these are good or not. These are supposedly full coverage powder foundations and I just keep looking at them. I should just try them, but they are a little expensive. I've heard a few makeup artists talk about this Eye Bright Concealer from Makeup Revolution and I really need to try this. It has a puff on it too, so I really like that. It just goes on a lot smoother with the puff, so... I'm really looking forward to trying this out. I think they had a couple color correctors over there too, like a pink, a brightener, a highlighter. They had a lot of these sticks. Um, they are a little bit more on the pricier side, but they look like they are so worth it. So that concludes my Target shopping for today. I walked over next door to Big Lots to look at their Easter stuff. So I thought that I would include some of that in there to you, but I could not get over some of these robin eggplants. I thought they were so adorable, so I had to share them with you guys. But again, these are at Big Lots um, at the Easter section, of course. How cute are these? I should have picked one up. I mean, there's always tomorrow, but still, I mean... Come on, like they're so adorable. I'm a sucker for anything that says Hoppy Easter, like Hoppy Easter. I just think that's so cute. I don't know why I, I'm guilty of the Hoppy Easter decorations. But anyways, thanks for shopping with me today. Next time we are going to Ulta, so don't forget to like and subscribe so you guys don't miss anything. I try to keep you guys updated on all things Target. Ulta, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and stuff like that. So I don't want you guys to miss a beat. So like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.